Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Professor Layton and the Unwound Future. Now it is actually time to go start looking around for clues as to where Layton's future Layton has run off to. Well, let's see here. New screen! There's one. And some more. Yep, there's two. And there's three. Oh, come on. We weren't going to use the station. Besides. See? He won't let us. We might get to use that station eventually. Might. I hope. Okay. Let's see... Hello there. How are my favorite gentlemen doing? Useless. What can I do for you? We went to go see the man who runs the Towering Pagoda, but he was out. Do you know where he is? I think so, but I'm not telling you. He's a dangerous man. You don't want to tangle with him. Come now, surely there's no harm in letting us know where he might be. You're wrong there, but I guess I can tell you what I've heard. It's just a rumor, though. You sure you want to know this? I'm telling you, this fellow's bad news. Real bad. We can handle it. What have you heard? People say he disguises himself, then walks around town. We could only be feet from him right now, and not know it. Freaky, right? Look, I'm getting creeped out, so let's end this little chat, okay? Later. Alright. Well, someone that will have some information for us, I hope. The Family Guide, now. Eh, the boss. Look, I'm here because I don't want to think about the boss. You follow? Besides, you're never going to find him in a hole in the wall like this. He likes upscale joints. Maybe you. Welcome to Pepper's Noodle Palace. What'll it be? Sorry, but we're not here to eat. We just want to know if you can tell us anything about the fellow who runs a towering pagoda. Aw, oh, I really can't interest you in a bite to eat. Alright then. Now what were you saying? We would like to meet the man who runs a towering pagoda, but he seemed to be out at the moment. Has he been by your restaurant? I don't think so. I mean, I don't even know what he looks like. But his lackeys come by here almost every day to slack off. They're horrible tippers, by the way. Now that I think about it, there's a good chance the man you're looking for never comes here. I mean, would you loaf on the job in a place where the boss could bust in on you at any moment? You make a good point. That's very astute of you. Flattery's nice, but if you want to say thanks, order some food next time you come in, okay? Well, a bust, but some actually, you know, some actual decent, you know, words there from her. What did you find, huh? Well, I have no idea what you're trying to find there, but there's nothing I can click on besides a girl. I'm willing to bet it's that barrel behind her, but I can't click on it. We'll come back later. It'll probably be there sometime. Hey, you have anything? Probably not. If you're still looking for the towering pagoda, you should know you're a little off course. Oh, we know that. Actually, right now we're out gathering information. Is that so? Doing a research project for school, are you? Well, it would behoove you to talk to all the folks around here. It'll give you perspective on the place. Once you've chatted with them all, come and see me again. Maybe I'll have an interesting tidbit or two for you. But wouldn't it be easier if you just told us what you know now, sir? 
That would be easier, but where would the fun be for him? Well, let's see what we got here, huh? Well, besides more Hank coins. Uh, yeah, it's a trash can. Okay. And there. Yep, there's one. There's two. Here, yep, there it is. And now, let's pick up another banana peel. Because it has a puzzle for us. Look at that! There's another banana peel laying on the ground. Someone around here has a taste for bananas and an aversion to cleaning. Not to worry, Professor. I'll clean it up. Not so fast, Luke. What is it, Professor? I've just thought of another banana puzzle. Of course you have. Number 74, Slippery Trip 2. Worth 40 points. Make your way from the start to the goal, but be wary of banana peels. Whenever you step on one, you'll slide without stopping until you hit a wall. Can you find a way through the slippery streets? Tap the red arrows to move. Well, let's see here. There and there lead me to the same place. Okay, here we go. Hit that. Go back. And now we have a semi-clear path to the goal. As long as I don't misclick at any point. Here's my answer. I knew it! Sweet and delicious, most people are used to eating the common and most popular Cavendish bananas raw right after peeling them. However, in the tropics, where most of the world's bananas are produced, there are many less sweet varieties that are often used in cooking. And now you know. Okay. Whoever left this peel here could be stand to learn a few manners. I'm glad we found it before someone took a spill on it. Well, let's see. One of these... Aha! Another puzzle. Hidden away in the leaves of a tree. Number 148. Matchstick math. Worth 25 points. The math equation below is written in matchsticks. Red is Roman numerals. It means 1 plus 11 equals 10. To make this a valid equation, what's the fewest number of matches that you need to move? Well... If you turn this on its side, or if you turn this upside down, so to speak, rotated 180 degrees, that will be 10 equals 9 plus 1. So you don't have to move a single matchstick. You just have to move the thing they're sitting on. This one's as good as sold. I knew it! You're on fire! Zero matches is correct. If you look the equation upside down, it becomes 10 equals 9 plus 1 in Roman numerals. The phrase, fewest number of matches, might have tricked you into thinking at least one match, but fewest can mean no matches at all. And it does. Another puzzle solved. Now, since there's no other choice in this area, we go in the store. Make way, make way, coming through. I'm in a hurry here. I've got to get back. Goodness, that little man startled me. Who would have thought such short legs could move so quickly? Did you see how he raced out of the shop? I sure did. He was sprinting. And in wet pants and shoes, too. Wet pants and shoes again, huh? He was carrying two armfuls of books to boot. He must be a big customer here. Maybe the woman behind the counter knows something about him. 
So, of course, new uh, screen. So, let's see. And there's that one. There's one there. And then we can talk to her. May I help you find something? Actually, I was hoping you could tell us about the man who dashed out of your store just now. Oh, that'd be Dr. Avogadro. He's always in a hurry. Probably a bunch of numbers he has to deal with or something like that. I don't know. His pants and shoes were soaked. It was very strange. I guess I've gotten used to it. He always looks that way. He sneaks away from work to browse through our new books. You know how absent-minded geniuses can be. I bet he doesn't notice puddles in the road. Or maybe he likes to go fishing on his breaks. Who knows? He always bursts in, buys a few books, and then dashes out without so much as a word. Hmm. Be interesting. Well, let's get out of here. And hey, there he is. What is it? What do you want? Can't you see I'm in a hurry here? Oh, I think you've upset him. You can't just go running up to people you don't know and expect them to chat with you. Why not? I can't help it, Flora. How else are we supposed to find leads for our investigation? Well, some people really don't like talking to strangers. Hey, if you two are just going to stand there squabbling, will you at least get out of the way? I've got places to be, and I don't appreciate your stopping me. Oh, but you really don't want to run around like that, do you? Huh? Like what? With your pants and shoes all wet and squishy. Seems awfully uncomfortable. There will be time for drying later. I have to go now. Enjoy your little row. Darn, there he goes. He might have stayed if you hadn't upset him from the get-go. You can hardly blame that on me. Oh, well. Would have been nice. But now we can go further back. And get more hint coins. That I will never use. There's one. And... There's two. There's three. And let's talk to Scared Boy here again. Hello there. Ah, uh, good day, miss. The name's Hazel. It's lovely to meet you. Hiya, Hazel. Oh no, it's you. Good to see you again. You were using that cute girl as a decoy to lure me out of hiding. I knew it. I knew something was funny when she started chatting me up out of the blue. Why, oh why did I stop to talk to her? Now you got me right where you want me. I gotta get out of here. Whatever did I do to get on that fellow's bad side? Beats me, Professor. Is that fellow a friend of yours, Luke? That'd be nice, but I can't even get him to stop cowering in fear for five seconds. Oh well. Let's talk to him. Hello there, my name's Paige. What's yours, miss? I'm Flora. How do you do, Paige? Not so well, I'm afraid. I've had this puzzle on my mind for days, and it has me positively stumped. I know we just met, and this is terribly forward of me, but would you mind taking a look at it? Number 75. Create the Chick. This puzzle is worth 40 points. To complete the chick, fit the five blocks that form Professor Layton's top hat into the outline below without overlapping the pieces or leaving any spaces empty. You can rotate or flip the blocks. And once again, we have the exact same layout we did last time. Well, let's see. We need to find out if this piece has any other purpose or let's find out if any other piece will fit here besides that. New. Nope. 
No, I'm going to go out on a limb and say we can put that one there for now. That makes just too much sense to not work. Oh, let's see. I believe this one will do nicely there. Oh, that puts you right here. There. Hmm. Easy Does enough. This sound right? Take that puzzle. <laughs> well done. This baby bird is still too young to fly. Gosh, you must have some sort of super brain to solve a puzzle like that so easily. Well, I try. After all, smarts are something no true lady can be without. And we got another sticker for the picture book. And we also got a delivery request. But we will deal with that delivery request next time, as it is time for a new video. So, when we return, we keep talking to people and we fulfill that delivery request. So, till then. See you later. Bye.